So now what you'll notice when you open beta.icloud.com is you've got these three new icons in the bottom row. Your pages, numbers and keynote, which all together obviously form Apple's iWork suite. It's essentially Apple's competitor to Microsoft Office, but in the past the apps have been a lot cheaper than Office and now with it being on iCloud, it's completely free. So you can see any documents you've already got will show up automatically as they would on your iPad or iPhone when you open up the relevant app. So if I want to create a document, I can do it and you'll notice it's got the same kind of templates as what you'd get on the regular app. So I can open a modern photo letter. And it takes a little while to load, obviously slightly slower than if you were to open up the app. But you'll see that you can do everything that you would normally do. You can resize the photo. You can change the border, different styles. You can have no border. You can change the angle of the shadow. You can do all sorts of things like blurring the shadow. You can switch the shadow off if you want to, change the opacity stuff. And obviously actually changing the text is as easy as clicking and typing, or you can just delete the whole lot and then start typing. And then if you want to change fonts and typefaces, you've got all sorts of options down the right. You've got heading changes. You can change the paragraph style, obviously, or you can change your font as normal. And it does give you kind of a preview of what that font looks like. So you don't have to guess, um, obviously changing alignment as you would normally expect everything, like all the basic tools are down the right hand side in this control panel right there. It's very, very simple to use. You can add a shape if you want to. It just inserts itself in there or add in an image. Um, I'll just grab one. Um, just something that I've used as a profile a feature image for one of my reviews and you can resize it and do all sorts of things. You can add your obviously your frames and all sorts of that. That's stuff I showed you already. Let's go back. We can check. Actually, we can check the tools. You can add in guides, edge guides, check spelling. You've got help. Uh, and then you can just go back to your documents if you want to. Uh, we'll get rid of that one, go back to iCloud pages, and then we'll just go back and let's have a quick look at numbers. Now, for those of you unaware, numbers is obviously Apple's own version of Excel. Uh, if I open up the blank one that I was working on earlier, you've got similar tools as what you would expect to get on the fully fledged app. So if I click on the table, I can resize it, which then automatically adds rows and columns. Um, obviously adding numbers, etc., in there is possible. Now, if I highlight multiple, uh, multiple cells, it will give me various things automatically along the top. Uh, you can see if I look here, you've got the sum, and you've got the average, the minimum. Um, and if I put the sum, if I drag that onto there, that doesn't do anything. So if you want to, for instance, create a formula, it works the same way you put equals and then sum, drag it across there. And that's supposed to work and that's not working properly. So that might just be a beta fault. But add it, you can change all sorts of stuff like the, um, you can change the table, labels, headers and footers. Um, again, everything is very similar, but it seems on the web app, it seems a lot easier to use than what you'd find in the fully fledged, uh, the fully fledged app that isn't the web app. But obviously the, the biggest draw of using iCloud for this is that you don't have to have any apps, you can just go to it in your browser, head on to beta.icloud.com and you can actually just go there for free, whether you're on Windows or Mac, it will work. Now, uh, if you've tried using it, I've used it in, oh, this is key uh, Keynote, sorry, by the way, I'm just having a quick look at this. This is Keynote. Again, you can do everything that you would do within a normal app. But like I was saying, this is beneficial to anyone who's not wanting to pay to download the apps or if you're a Windows user and you've not been able to use it before, um, it means that you no longer have to switch between Office to do your, between Office and then using iWork on your iPhone and iPad. It'll just all sync automatically through, through iCloud. And again, you've got similar options in here. You can change the image sizes and add all the same borders and effects in, um, change the scale of the frame, make it smaller or larger. 
Um, and then you can change it here. You can put in slideshow. I mean, that's a very basic look at what it looks like. All the apps will have this kind of control point in the, in the right hand side here. And then everything has got the same kind of user interface. So once you get to know one of them, you should be able to then go and use the other program. And you can do it all within your Safari browser, like I mentioned before. So it really is ideal. Obviously, you've got access still to your reminders and notes and calendar. But it's just these new iWork suite that I wanted to show you. If you want to ask me any questions about those, please feel free. I'm at TIP underscore Cam on Twitter. And I will see you again soon.